Hey y'all, what's going on? We are here at, where are we? Golden Corral. And I brought baby here for Father's Day and it is Saturday because I know tomorrow is going to be crazy crowded. It is crowded today, but not as bad. And I just got two pieces of fish, some onion rings, fries, okra bread. And then for my dessert, I got chocolate covered marshmallows, a piece of chocolate cake, strawberry cheesecake, and two chocolate covered strawberries. Make him look cute. Joe was getting ready. He just got okra fish and chicken right now because he said he gonna go back and he gonna eat. So that's it. I just want to show y'all our food because we are about to eat and enjoy and enjoy our day. But I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I'm sitting here enjoying all my food. All of my food. <coughs> I done had my fish, everything. Now I'm working on my dessert. I done had a strawberry cheesecake already. It was good. Two of that chocolate cup of marshmallows that good. And now I'm working on my chocolate cake, my chocolate cup of strawberries. And John was like, you can go get you another piece. I was like, why are you trying to turn me into a fatty? But they they got the, uh, what would that be called? The white, the white and black cake? Because they have a white and black cake up there. That cake looks so good. And then they got uh, cherry cobbler. They have an apple and a peach cobbler up there. So, and banana too. And banana. I, and I don't want no banana. I had a banana put last time. It's good, but I just want to try some of that cobbler. The banana pudding the best. They banana pudding is good. But I'm going to want some more when I get home. But I'm going to enjoy all the food. Take that. <laughs> yeah, you you. Y'all hear that man? Y'all hear that man talking? That's our tempo. He used to go to our church. He used to. Tell y'all. He was a pimp. Huh? And I'm trying not to turn around because he don't see me. But I'm trying not to turn around because if he see me, he doesn't want to talk. I should tell him, hey, Miss Bob. No, don't do that. If you do that, I promise you I'm gonna make the rest of your evening hell. He'll talk. But, but anyway, I'm gonna finish up my food, y'all. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. We leave it up out of there. That food was amazing. Oh, I just want to go sleep. What? <laughs> Talia texted me and said that she's taking Philip and Emma to the Coliseum to the fair but child is too high I would love to go but for one I know Jordan is not going to walk around no fair and I know we go and that's way in below see I ain't driving that far then I ain't going to want to come I'm going to get back home thank you you hear this he told me I can drive back home honey I ain't going to want to drive and drive back home Ooh. Mm -mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if Reante was home with me, if Reante was at the house with me and we would have rolled down there together, that would have been different. Camila Cabello. For me to have to ride all the way to Biloxi and back, I ain't doing it. All right, I gotta see where we got to go. Did you figure out what we gonna eat some more? <laughs> Which one you wanna do? <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let us, let us see something. <laughs> coordinate. Let us coordinate something. Hey, y'all. This is us trying to leave. Jordan is putting the windshield wipers on. I know y'all can't see him, but just trust he's putting the windshield wipers on. That's what he got there. Um, I just had to put some of the stuff in the store. Get my brain on the Right there by you on the phone. And I can throw Thank you. 
Hey family, happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. We got rain here in our area yesterday for Father's Day. And happy Father's Day to all of the amazing fathers who watch me. If no matter how you father somebody, just know that you are loved, you are valued, and you are appreciated. Very much so. I hope you got a chance to rest, relax, and just enjoy your day. That is my prayer for you guys. It's Monday. <laughs> it is Monday. Um, and I pray that God continues to bless you guys so y'all can favor. Bless you guys in favor, love, and prosperity. Great health. And that God just continues to lead you all in the way that he needs y'all to lead y'all family. And y'all loved ones and everyone that you touch each day. And that's my prayer. I love you guys. And no, like I said again, that y'all are appreciated and loved. It's Monday, y'all. It's Monday. Um, I have to. I think I'm going to put. Because my grandbaby don't get in this anymore since she got a walker. So I'm going to send this back her parents house that there i'm gonna send that back to her parents because she doesn't use it here um so only the stuff that she's using is what i'm gonna keep here y'all know i went and bought her her car seat her mama had gave her her stroller gave me um her stroller to use but i'm gonna send her stroller back the end of this week sorry y'all i'm gonna send her stroller back the end of this week because i'm gonna buy her one so i can have for here so I don't have to just be bringing it back and forth because on weekends, if they go somewhere or like Celia said, when they get ready to go by Greg parents for um, like during the 4th of July weekend and stuff, they can have it because they're going to go out. And like I said, I don't want to have to keep toting it back and forth. So I'll just have what I need for her here. Just like I went and got her a walker. She'll have it when she's here. So I'm about to get my laundry, a load of laundry in here. I'm going to go to the doctor for 1040. I want to make me some grits, so I'm going to get my grits started as soon as I get this first load in. No, I'm going to get my water started, and then I'm going to put my load in, and yeah. So I'm going to get that taken care of. My kitchen is clean. Like, everything is wiped down. It's just that stuff that's in the sink, because like I said, I did all this yesterday. But I have to vacuum my living room floor. It needs to be vacuumed, and... All right, y'all. It was some hours later. I did record a video, but it's going to be for Instagram. So if y'all are interested, my Instagram channel is Alicia Southern Crew, just like over here on YouTube. Now, I was doing a little in my hair because I told you guys mama had to go to the doctor. Philip ended up riding with me so he can help me out with her. Y'all, the bottom fell out as soon as we got in the car. <laughs> so it was, oh, Lord, it was, let's just say it was a trip trying to get mama into the doctor. Um, but and we sat there for three hours that was the longest mama ever went she was so aggravated she was so ready to go home and they was just busy because they overbooked and i hate when that doctor's office overbooked especially on mondays um because all of those patients and that be so exhausted and tired so they need to just figure out something else but mama said she would never take another mon uh, monday appointment and i do not blame her because she was drained that was like going to chemo for her um, but however, he found her doing good. She doesn't go back for another three months and, you know, that's pretty much it with that. But, um, what else? I was going to tell y'all something else, but I cannot remember right now. But anyway, y'all see how Philip is just playing with little Emma. He loves this little baby. Even when he goes to stay by Talia's house, Talia was like, he's always wanting to hold her, change her and help them out with her. And it's crazy because just how, um, Philip is with Emma. That's exactly how the kids was with Philip when he was a baby. So I love seeing that. It's just like I get to relive these moments all over again. And y'all see Mama sitting there. She do want to talk to you guys. So after this clip, she has something that she wants to tell y'all. Um, so yeah, so we'll be back. You got your medicines, Mama. Yeah, they said bring your medicine. Well, I get them, huh? Y'all have me. Hey, I'm in a computer. It's all right, I drive. 
He's right there. Huh? He's right here. I want to bring this umbrella to the mm -hmm. ring. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's it. Let go. It's hours later. It's, it's 3.30. A few minutes. I'll be out to go drop the grandbaby off to Brown's airport. Mute that, mom. That's, are you going to tell me something? No. Are you going to tell them? Sure. Let me see. Can y'all see my... Hold on. Wait a minute. I ain't going to make it see All right, there you go. I, I just want to get on here preaching y'all a little bit. I can't. I can't. I love y'all, and, and I be looking at y'all on YouTube, but I can't do much talking like I used to because of my mouth. Sometimes I, I, I can get to worry about events. And then sometimes I gotta wait and say, hold on, but I, I, I never forget who my friends are. They, 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 be, they be checking on me. And, and I'm glad that they'll, they'll call me or they'll take me. And I, and I'm glad that, but y'all, y'all can just continue playing for me. That's all what matters, playing for me. And, and, and y'all know I will never ask for much, but if anybody wants, Send me a, a card. I might you a card in the mail. I would appreciate it if you write my spirit up. Send me a, a nice green card, playing card in, in, in the mail. Cook. I don't ask for much. But I'm asking y'all, will y'all send me? A good way to call her. Wherever y'all want, y'all want to see me. And I think Risa from from checking on me, she she would take me. She take me. She I'm going. You know. I talked to her the other day, and I was glad to hear her voice. I love all y'all, and y'all be blessed, and y'all, y'all, y'all continue on, please. Please, y'all, continue on supporting Lisa on her YouTube because she works so hard. So, like I say, if y'all want to send me something, y'all can send me something. And my address 
or P.O. Box. I don't never ask for nothing. This is the first time I ever ate. So, if y'all want to send me a green card or, or whatever y'all want, want to send me, I appreciate it. Make me, may God be with y'all and continue on blessing y'all because all of us be prayer. We got to take one day of time. It was about it was about sleeping the drum around and and all you hear now cancer, cancer, cancer. That's what you're hitting. You're hitting on. So y'all just keep playing. Playing. Where I go to do my chemo. It's so quiet in the night. We got young and old. So, we just got to team on playing. So, that, that's all I got to say. I love y'all. And I do watch y'all on YouTube. But I just can't comment like I want. And I really can't, can't talk like I won't because of my mouth. But may God be with y'all. And, and y'all have, y'all have a better day and a better week. Well, that was really nice, my mom. They appreciate that. And they're going to pray for you, too. And I'm praying for all y'all, too. But please pray for my mama, too, because she <laughs> deserves some prayer, too. And if y'all would like to, please send my wonderful mother a card or something, too, because she don't ever ask for nothing, like, ever. So you say, if you would please, please give her something. I don't want nothing. Don't send me nothing. <laughs> I don't want, no, want y'all to know what I want or what I like, especially just send my mama stuff. <laughs> send my mama a card. Tell her thank you for giving her all the blessings in the world. Mm. Give her some, please. Mm. She deserves it too. Mm. Now y'all just send mama something. I'm good. Yeah, I promise I'm good. Please don't send me anything. <laughs> yeah, just send mama something, y'all. I had a just y'all. Yeah, just send mama something. I'm good. I promise I'm good. Uh, I just put my smoke sausage in my beans. <laughs> if my hair look a mess, y'all, it's because it is. I just took my thing off. Yeah, I am, I am sleepy today. This rain got me sleepy, but I have to cook. Oh, uh, well, I don't have to cook, but I'm cooking because we got to eat. But, um, oh, I'll be leaving from here probably in about 30 minutes. I was waiting to see if Brown was going to get off at 3. Um, so I can go by her first, but she didn't take me back. So I'll just drop little Emma off and then go get Brown And I'm going to come home take me back for a bit. <laughs> That's going to be, I'm going to take me back. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, but I do have clothes on, y'all. I just put my robe on. Because y'all know I keep the coal in my house. Oh, Lord, that's Rose. My mama, I mean, my daddy's wife. Anytime I see it's a whole group chat, I know it's a long people take my daddy back in the hospital. I don't even want to see it if that's what it is. I don't have the energy today. Oh, Lord. But, um, I got that. I have a few YouTube sisters who sent Mama, Mama E and Mama Margaret some cards for Mother's Day and for Easter, well, back in Easter and Mother's Day. So I appreciate it. Y'all know I don't, I don't tell, like, whoever send Mama stuff, I personally message them if I have their number or I'll email them and be like, thank you so much. We got your card. We got your gifts. And I don't really say it on here on YouTube. Not that I don't appreciate it because y'all know I appreciate it. They know I appreciate it. Y'all know my heart is not like that at all. That's just not how we roll. But a lot of times, because people are just so mean and rude and vicious. So if people send stuff, whether it's Cash App, PayPal, send cards and stuff to mama. And I found myself like last year and the year before last when I would say it, people would be like, oh, God, she's using her mom to get gifts. Or she's using her mom to get money. She's using her mom for this. 
I was going through that, and I never said it on here. But I promise y'all, when I will come on here and thank you guys for doing what y'all was doing for Mama and doing for us, those people will come. And they'll be like, oh, that's so sad. She's using her mouth for this and that. And I don't use her mouth for nothing because everything my mama got, we get. And like she said, we don't never ask for anything. My mama was just asking that today for y'all because, like she said, it'll just make her feel good when I tell her, hey, mama, you got this from such and such, or you got mail. Or I tell mama E, mama E, you got mail from such and such, or someone sent you this. They light up. They get happy. They light up because I get to talk to you guys every day. They don't get to talk to y'all every day. I get to read y'all messages every day. My mama used to, but she can't now because, like she said, with her eyes, and then she just be so tired. So when they get stuff like that, it makes them feel good. So therefore, it makes me feel good. Um, so that's why a lot of times y'all will see me put up a video or see me put up a reel or a short. But I'm always praying and thanking God. Um, and look, I know I have been getting people who've been DMing me and was like, well, you need to be careful because monitoring spirits and all this other stuff and people praying on your downfall. I get it. And I appreciate people who telling me that. But I'm going to tell y'all how I feel when it comes down to that. God is my life. He is my Savior. He is my everything. I do not announce that in my life. I do not bring that in my life. That's just like voodoo, hoodoo, all of that. I know it exists. My family is, part of, my, my mom's family is historically born and raised in Louisiana. <laughs> the boot part of Louisiana. So I know that that stuff exists, but I do not allow that in me. I do not cast any of that stuff on me. Um, I know the devil is real. I know evil is real. I know all of that stuff exists, but I do not allow that in my life at all. I stop. Anytime stuff happens, I'm cutting it. So I don't speak that into my life. Like I said, I know it's there, and I'm not naive to it. But I, like I said, I do not allow that into my ear gates, my eye gates, none of that. Um, because God is always wanting to trump any of this other stuff that's out there in the world. Because he is my everything. He is my savior. I know who I live for, who I live under, who I live by, the word. Um, so I don't, not saying that I don't believe in that, but I don't put that into my life. I'm not going to speak any of that into my life. And if I'm not speaking it in my life, I don't have to speak it out of my life. Okay. Um, but I know a lot of people do. And now social media is pushing a lot of that to the forefront. And it has people feel like they're losing their mind because they honestly feel like people are coming for them or like, you know, people is doing this and that to them. But you got to be very mindful. You can't speak that stuff into your life. So like I said, I appreciate the person that said it to me. But I promise you, I'm fine, okay? People can always feel your downfall. People can be doing that stuff every day. But if you look at it like this, God already has my life preordained and mapped out. His word does not come back to us void. He's never lied. He never, he's not the author of confusion. So any of that stuff... That's going on, that's negative, that's bad, and all of that. That's staying right where it needs to stay because God already, he know where I'm going to be in 10, 20, 15, 20 years, 30 years. He know where I'm going to be. So I don't need anything else or anybody else to be like, oh, well, this person can be praying on this. They can do whatever they want to. And I mean P-R-E-Y. They can do whatever they want to because it's not going to get no higher than the ground <laughs> because God already got Okay, he already done spoke all of that into my life and into my existence. So, that's just how I feel on that note. So, I just want to say that and put that out there. Um, the fact that it was brought to my attention. And like I said, I get everybody on social media is pushing stuff like that. And it's fine if that's, you know, I'm not going to ever try to change anybody else's mind. That is just, that's just my thoughts. Um, and everybody is definitely welcome to having their own thoughts on how they feel about that. But over here, you know, like I said, that stuff don't get no no hiding in the ground. It stays in the depths of hell that God has it. Um, because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's that. So, Emma, what's the matter? You don't know? We watching Amber, you guys. Boss mom hustling. Um, Emma, you okay?
dark here, but this is also after work. If you guys are following me on Instagram and here on YouTube as well, I did let you guys know that I did start working full time again. So this is just my nightly routine of cleaning up after work and after dinner. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and give you guys lots of motivation to tackle those messes that you have after your crazy day. I feel like the best time to clean for me is at night. For the most part, I'm usually not disturbed by my kids. You will see Samir and Tam, you guys know those two are like my cleaning shadows. But usually I'm able to just get so much more done. And this particular night, you can tell that I had quite a mess. I think this was about two days worth of mess in between getting the last minute things for Lincoln to get him ready for school and just dinner and me not being at home. So if you guys love cleaning videos, you can definitely come to the right spot. Thank you for joining in to Ambram's Life. Yeah. I am going to start off in my dining room this time since I do have a couple dishes left over from dinner. That way I don't have to go back and rewash any more dishes after I'm done. Because who wants to wash more dishes? So I'm just going to get all of this picked up and cleaned up and then I'll move on into the kitchen. Mama, your, your, your husband needs help. Need help with what? The tents in the woods. Yeah. I'm good at the smell. Could She's actually really playing. Alright, hung up. Good okay. thing adding Lysol laundry sanitizer kills 99.9% of bacteria the detergents leave behind. Okay, y'all. It's some hours later. Some hours and hours later. Uh, when I tell y'all today has been a day... Talia came and got Emma because she Talia wasn't feeling well. She said this morning she wasn't feeling that well when she went to work, but she, you know, made the best that she could of her day. And she just left early, you know, a few hours early. So she came and got Emma. She also came and got Philip because Philip does not have practice tomorrow. He, excuse me, goes back to practice Thursday. And Talia does not have work tomorrow because y'all know um, tomorrow is Juneteenth. Um... And this video has been, what, three, four days long. The first day I started recording, I want to say it was Friday. I recorded Friday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is a four-day four day video. But um, Mama had to go get some fluids because... I told you guys she's been having a real difficult time breathing um, with everything with her lungs. So she needed fluid. Her oxygen level was kind of low. It's back up to where it needs to be. I'm about to take it again at um, 5 o'clock or oh, right before I leave out to go get Rante. Um, like I said, it's just been a, a day. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. She is feeling better, but she's still tired and weak, but she's in her bed and I was asleep. The rain has stopped for now, but this rain has been pouring down off and on. And like I said, we just, we didn't know how today was going to be. Earlier, I had to go to my doctor and get my blood work done. And it's like when I came home, everything just started happening. Tomorrow, we're going to have a busy day. I'm just going to take mama with me in the morning because she has to go. No, I'm sorry. I have to go for 830 um, and do my pre-op. And then mama has to be at her oncologist at 10. So she's just going to go with me to do my pre-op. They said it's not going to take long, about 40 minutes to get everything done. So mama just go there with me unless you want to go sit down and talk to them in chemo. I don't know, whichever she chooses and then when i'm done she'll go upstairs to her oncologist excuse me y'all and then when we leave from there we'll come back home and then thursday is my um heart cat so yeah and i'm trying to be like as calm as possible and all of that you know because it's like i don't want to get all worked up and then have to go do my heart cath and stuff so I'm going to see if Jordan will go pick Riri up when she get off so I can just go take me a long hot bath and relax. I'm sure he will. I cooked dinner yesterday. 
Um, so they haven't left over red beans, but um, I asked Jordan if he wanted to go get some um, KFC, some chicken, because on Tuesdays they have the um, specials, like I think it's 10 piece for like five ninety nine or something like that. So if they want that, if not, it's fine with me because I'm probably just going to do some tuna salad and eat some um, uh, some fruit. Um, but I feel okay. Like I said, it's just, today just was one of those days because of everything with mama. So that's it, you guys. I am about to go run me some hot water, soak in the tub, get me some ice and water, take my heart medicine and just relax. But I love you guys so much. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay hydrated, stay warm. And if it's raining in y'all areas and storming in y'all area, y'all stay safe. And I will see y'all tomorrow i will be vlogging my day tomorrow i will be vlogging thursday the morning of my heart cast and i'm gonna keep you guys um updated on everything deontay will be getting home soon um so i'm about to just go chill but i love you guys and again like i said y'all stay blessed and i will see y'all later Bye, the peace that you bestowed deep down in